All right, today I'm going to talk about this uh, show over at uh, Tokyo. It's called Toy Toy Soul uh, 2014, and uh, first we're looking at uh, a one-to-one -one scale Hulkbuster. Wow, this thing is uh, amazing looking. I wonder who made this. Uh, I wonder if it's uh, by uh, if Hot Toys made it, this one-to-one, -one, or Marvel made it. Uh, and and they're just borrow, borrowing it from them. And uh, next to this Hulk, uh, giant Hulkbuster, it's a little Hulkbuster from Hot Toys. And then um, next uh, we're seeing a Mark 43 uh, from Hot Toys. And uh, this is a die cast one. And uh, the base uh, comes with a battle damage um, um, Ultron uh, version 1. And then... Uh, uh, next up, we have what do we have next? It's uh, Hulkbuster, and uh, uh, this is the uh, this is um, the one six scale Hulkbuster, and uh, as you can see, he is uh, quite nice, quite impressive, and, uh, lots of lights, and uh, oh, I love those fingers, it looks like they're all articulated, and uh, I wonder if this thing would actually opens up like uh, like um, um, Iron Monger uh, that would be nice if it does uh, here you're seeing all the photos of the Hulkbuster and uh, he looks absolutely amazing uh, he probably not gonna be super super articulated I mean he, he's gonna have a lot of joints but uh, I don't wonder how much range of motion he has but uh, uh, doesn't matter. He could just stand around and look pretty. And that's all I care. And then next up we have Thor. And uh, this Thor is basically ex uh, almost exactly the same as the Dark World Thor. So definitely one that I'm not going to pick up since I already have the Dark World Thor. And then uh, next up we have Captain America. Another cap. And um, this one's a lot nicer. Uh... Design-wise, uh, at least to me, because I like all the little paneling that he has on and uh, all the patches, like different colors and stuff. Um, yeah, even the pants, you can see a lot of different panels and stuff. Uh, I like that a lot. And then next up we have uh, Hawkeye. And uh, this is the one I am not going to get. Because uh, the only difference, well, he has a different costume, but to me, it doesn't warrant another purchase. Uh, all he has is uh, oh, more of a trench coat thing going on and uh, uh, the bow might be different and quiver is different and then he has some more arrows around his uh, ankles and stuff but yeah the, the one I have is uh, fine I don't need another one and then uh, next up we have Black Widow is another one I'm not gonna purchase because I already have the Avengers uh, one uh, Black Widow and uh, she looks almost exactly the same I, uh, but uh, the head sculpts on these might not be final so these are these might just be for placement only uh, hairstyle is different but uh, uh, not something that I care to get another one off and then uh, next up wow this is a must have is Thanos from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy and uh, he's sitting on that uh, uh, throne uh, it's quite nice and uh, head sculpt it's it's I mean the whole thing is good head sculpt is a little bit uh, not to my liking uh, it would have been nicer if he had a grin on his face or a smirk or something instead of this uh, sad looking uh, Thanos uh, if you look closely he is very sad looking and then next up we have Hulk and uh, Hulk is Almost exactly the same as the one that came out. Uh, the only difference is the, the pants. It's definitely different, but other than that, uh, doesn't warrant another purchase. And then lastly, we have the Mark 43, and this is the quarter scale Mark 43. And uh, this is one that I am really interested in uh, because uh, just look at that paint job. It, if this thing is not made out of metal, he definitely looks like he is made out of metal. Because 
the paint job is just absolutely amazing and uh, the intricate details on him uh, all those uh, open panels and then you can see the inner workings of the armor stuff and uh, one thing that I do hope is that he comes with a lot more accessories than what they're showing right now because uh, with um, with uh, the Dark Knight Batman he came with a lot of accessories and hopefully this um, quarter scale Iron Man would have as as much if not more accessories than the Dark Knight Batman uh, then I would definitely purchase that and uh, yeah so overall this is my impression of uh, what came out at the uh, uh, Toy Zoo 2014 um, I'm just focusing on the Age of Ultron stuff because uh, those are the ones that I'm really really interested in seeing and uh, they didn't disappoint and uh, hopefully your prices on all these figures are are reasonable uh, that Mark 43 uh, 1 6 scale it's kind of high at 345 already uh, I just don't see how that figure is so high but that's that's totally another thing so yeah um, that's it and uh, thanks for watching